<coughs> Hobbyking.com, my name is Warwick, and we have here today the Trackstar Motor Analyzer. Now, yes, it's Trackstar, it works for the Trackstar Motors and all other motors based around your cars, but you can use it on almost all the other brushless motors which you might use for multi-copter. Now, it's got a lot of special features which are pretty exciting. And uh, you can use it for a, a 1 to 2S battery for your, uh, for your car motors, and it'll go up to 36 pole. Now, it has a uh, KV measurement. Now, it'll do your KV measurement uh, up to 36 poles for your motors, and, uh, and it'll also do uh, noise measurement and also your motor timing measurement. Now, you can use it for sensor motors or sensorless motors. So, let's take a closer look. Now, on one side here, you have your connectors here for your brushless motor and your sensor wire connector, which comes in the box here. Is your uh, alligator clips to go with your brushless motor and your timing wire if you're using if you're testing a timed motor. You just plug these uh, this one in here, and you plug these ones in here, and your motor goes on here like this. And then you just use your alligator clips and you clip them onto here. So when you set it up, it looks a little bit like this. Now, some of you might be asking, why do I need to check my motor? Um, now, there's a couple of reasons why you may want to check your motor. You want to check it when you buy it to make sure that your KV is right. Whether you're talking about multi-copter and you've got multiple motors, and you want to make sure your KV is matched, or what you purchased is the actual KV of the motor that you bought. On a uh, on RC car or heli, you might want to check after it. quite a few uses, dust ingression into the bearings might make it a little bit noisy, or you might want to just check the motor health or check the motor timing. And this unit here will allow you to do all those things and check your KV, your noise, and also your motor timing. So we plug this in with these power wires here. So we'll just roll through the settings here and have a quick look. So you've got your motor KV, You've got your motor timing, you've got the noise level, and how many poles of the motor. So let's just go down and let's have a quick check. You just press OK to uh, go into motor timing. One press again. Okay, and then it gives you results here and it gives you your phasing of your A, B and C. So then that way you can check your motor timing and you can adjust it as per what you want for when you are tuning your motor. And then you just roll the button to change it back to the start menu. Now this works as well for multi-copter motors as well as, uh, as well as car motors. So that gives you the option of just plugging in using a different, different set of configuration to check your KV. You'll find this item on the new items page. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.